This video was made possible by EA Game Changers and I want to give a big thank you to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. If you guys like couples gaming channels, then click the link down below. We play Sims over there too and we would love to see you there. Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to a speed build. So today we are building with Tiny Living and I have been so excited to share this with you guys. I was so just ready to share it with you guys on Twitter for some reason the day I built it. And of course I couldn't share it yet, but today we are building a couple's tiny home starter. So this is a starter home. If you have two Sims, they will only have like a hundred and something simoleons left. You'll see at the end. Um, and it does classify as a tiny home. So with this pack, we have a micro home, a tiny home and small home. So I'm going to go over all of that. This was so much fun to do, but first we're going to do our notification at Pantagorn Fam shout out. So this one goes to Blue Constellation. Thank you so, so much for your comment. I appreciate you. And did you just made me smile. That was just so nice of you. I'm so glad you like my videos and my Sims. So if you guys want a chance to be in a notification, if you fam shout out, all you have to do is comment down below in any video. You can comment anything you want, or you can comment some unicorn emojis and turn your notifications on. Okay. So with that being said, right now, we're just like doing the outside of the house and stuff like that. And, um, like I said, this does classify as a tiny home, um, in the three little tiers or whatever. So this is really cool. I like that they added this in, um, the micro home is the smallest one and it can only have up to 32 tiles and then the tiny home which is the one I'm doing it can have up to 64 and then the small home can have up to 100 so I had about like 61 tiles out of the um, 64 so we just made it <laughs> but I'm gonna talk a little bit about like the different, I guess, perks each one gives you. So for basically you can select tiny home residential lot when you are building a tiny home now, which is really, really cool because then it actually gives you like things that really make it a tiny home instead of just it just, I don't know. It just feels more like you're building something that's giving you benefits that a tiny home would have. I just love it. <laughs> so the tier three, the small home has light in the load. And basically this means using less space, which means they use less energy, which means lower bills. So that's obviously a big, big plus. Seriously, that's going to be so handy for my Discover University Let's Play. Um, So that was really nice to find out. I'm just, I love that one. And then feeling fine all the time, pretty much they're going to be happy and inspired and focused more often. Like the buffs are going to last twice as long, basically. So that's another nice thing. I think that's just kind of cool, you know, especially if, if you have a sim that just just needs to be focused more often. Again, university, very fitting. I love it for that. Um, and then the next thing is the tier two for tiny home. So this one is, this one gives you a little bit more. So that's nice. Um, you have, you got the touch, which skills increase at double standard rate. So your sim will just be painting and their skills will be going up so much faster. So that's awesome. There's cozy comforts. Everything is twice as comfortable as it is generally. And then there's light in the load again, and then feeling fine all the time again. So those you also get. And then for the micro home, which is the smallest one, tier one, this one gives you the most um, benefits. So it has light in the load again, and then it has let's all get along. So this one I really love as well because a micro home is very tiny. So basically this is going to make all relationship gains doubled. And I think it makes sense because you're so close to one another. If like three Sims are living in a micro home, they are just so close together all the time. They don't have very much privacy. So I like that. Then you get let it grow. Plants grow twice as fast as normal. So that's really convenient too. And I feel like with tiny homes, especially micro homes, you're going to have a lot of stuff like in your yard. Um, you may even have your eating area outside, like your dining room table and just like lots of plants. I don't know. I could see people living or Sims that live in tiny homes. I could see them gardening. So that's nice. And then we get feeling fine all the time again. You got the touch again and then cozy comforts again. So that is what you get for all three. And yeah, I love it so much much. I have become obsessed with tiny homes. I mean, I always love tiny homes the most in The Sims. Like those are my favorite builds to watch and stuff, but I feel like this pack just like makes me want to build a million of them. <laughs> They're just so fun and small and cute and cozy. I love everything about them. All the items we get just go together so nicely. I am so impressed with this pack, you guys. Like actually so impressed. Now, when I did this build, I'm going to talk a little bit about it because you're going to see me change things a lot. So basically, because this is a starter home, I was very indecisive because when it comes to starter homes, I feel like yeah, okay, they're an easy build, but at the same time, it can be harder because you're working with a money limit 
and you don't want to cheat. You want people to be able to get this off the gallery and just have their two sims and move into it with no cheats or anything. So um, I was trying my best to get it to look the best I could with the money I had. No cheats or anything like that. I moved two sims onto this lot so that I knew for sure like I wasn't going to go over. I mean, I know you can see how much the house costs without having sims move into it, but I just wanted to do it this way. And yeah, I changed the like, I kept changing the wallpapers over and over again, even in the bathroom. <laughs> And I kept changing the counters a thousand times. Like, I, I've never changed counters so much in my life. And I think it's because I just wanted everything to flow. And, like, I knew the vibe of this pack. It kind of gives me Ikea vibes, um, like, cozy Ikea vibes. And I've always wanted a, an Ikea furniture stuff pack. So, I mean, this is a little bit closer than that compared to all the other stuff packs we've gotten. So I was happy and I kind of like, I really want to see them collab with Ikea and get even more furniture like this, but even more just Ikea vibe. <laughs> so yeah. Um, anyways, I end up finally like finding counters and everything like that, that fit the look I was going for. And there is definitely, I mean, okay. I kind of wish we got a like, whole entire kitchen set with tiny living. I didn't really like think about it when I was reviewing it. Um, but when you're actually building, I was like, you know, it would have been really cool if we got just a whole matching set. I just, I don't know. It's not necessary, I guess, but this is why I kept changing it. But luckily I did find something. I used the parenthood kitchen, um, just counters and everything like that. And it worked well with the bar stools. I just really wanted to use those stools. Um, so yeah. Um, I also really wanted to make this place look cluttered. So you're going to see me use this shelf and it's the OMSP shelf or something like that. I'm going to link it down below. If you watch builds, you probably are familiar with it. Um, it's really amazing. Basically, it just lets you have a million slots on one thing. So you can place something on the shelf and then um, like the same level, say you're trying to place something on the microwave, it'll automatically snap. So then when you're like moving it, you have to have move objects on, but then when you're moving it onto the microwave or like on top of a fridge, the things will just go on there seamlessly. You can also use the... Um, you can use cheats in the game that let you do it. However, sometimes they don't line up right. Do you know how many times I've used the nine and zero key to move up an item on top of the fridge and then it just doesn't line up right? Like it's like slightly floating. It just depends on the size of the item. Sometimes it doesn't work out, <laughs> but with the shelf, it'll always work out. Another thing, um, through, through the video, like when I'm doing the kitchen, uh, you may see like I put a thousand things on the island and stuff like that on the counter. Um, and that's because basically with the shelf, like, you know, the amount of slots on the counter is just going to keep snapping to it. So that's annoying. If you guys use that shelf, let me know if there's a way to avoid that. But I watched a tutorial on the shelf and as far as I know, like that's just going to happen. So you need to just like fill up the areas that it's snapping to, and then you can take another one and drag it to the part you're trying to put it so that it doesn't snap. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, but yeah, Ooh, the bathroom stuff with this pack, you guys, are just gorgeous, beautiful. I love everything about it. I love it. I love it. The mirror is a little oddly high, but I think it's because it's supposed to go on top of the dresser. Um, we got this, like, tall dresser, um, which I believe I did not use in this build. That was, like, the only thing because I actually don't have a bedroom in this build. So their bedroom is the living room, which I kind of love that vibe because this is, like, a couple's starter home. And I love the idea of them both, like, snuggling at night watching a movie like putting the um bed down and just oh i think that's so cute like they're just like it's like a little movie theater in the living room they're like getting ready for bed they got their popcorn not getting ready for bed but like you know settling down for the night with their popcorn and just they don't even have a popcorn maker but you know i'm just making up a whole thing in my head <laughs> and just hanging out in the living room with this the nice tv watching a movie and just just nice <laughs> i like that vibe like literally like i just think it's so cute and cozy to have your bedroom in the living room uh in a tiny home it just fits because there's not a lot of space so yeah um i was unsure by the way when i was this is like the really random to throw in now I was really unsure about the windows because again, this pack didn't come with windows, which I thought it would. So I was just like, what kind of windows do I want to put? But for some reason, having a tiny home, having like a lot of big open windows that you would usually put in like a modern home, I feel like just makes it look so good. I don't know. Tiny, tiny homes look really great with big windows. They don't need them, but I just feel like it looks really good. Um, just all the light coming in. It's just really nice. Um, another thing you guys, I do place down the, 
little desk that we get that comes with Tiny Living. It's the perfect size to fit in a tiny home. And I don't put a computer on it because of course there was not enough money, but you know, it's meant to have a computer on it. You could put a laptop on it. So I would imagine you move your Sims into here and they save up money. Of course they have jobs and stuff like that. And then they get themselves a computer and whatnot and more like pictures on the wall because I just did what I could you guys. And I wanted to actually not use sheets and give you guys a starter home. So yeah, um, you guys can comment down below what other like tiny homes you want me to build. I definitely want to build one for Lily in Discover University and I'm gonna make it as small as I can but of course I want space for her to have a roommate and also her toddler's room so it'll probably end up being the tier three the small home but I would love to have it be tier two and I'm gonna build it with like whatever money she has from the house she's currently living in so I just think that'd be really cool because she could have decreased bills and stuff like that which would be very nice for her um but yeah I hope you guys are liking this I am absolutely if you guys watch my review I'm absolutely in love with the furniture items in this pack I also really like the create a sim as well i think all of it just goes together so well but of course i'm most excited for the build items in this um you guys will also see i wanted to do landscaping on the outside and i was like oh my god they're running low on money what am i gonna do and it definitely was doable there's even like debug plants that are like free however the plants i wanted to use are not free and i just wanted to do the landscaping and not like crazy landscaping but at least enough where it looks like just pretty in the front so i ended up putting a cheaper stove and fridge, which I think is fitting for a starter home. So, you know, your Sims may have some meals that don't turn out the greatest, but as soon as your Sims are working and everything and get some extra cash, they can just replace them back to the ones I had or whatever ones you're feeling. But fridges and stoves are expensive. Like I got quite a bit back from that, like over a thousand from each. So I was like, yes, why didn't I think of that sooner? <laughs> now I can do some landscaping. And yeah, I was happy about that. Also in the backyard, I was like, what can I put back? here that you know would be in the price range but still have something in the backyard and I was like oh my gosh they don't have a dining room table in the house they just have like the island which is fine but sometimes they might have guests over or maybe just you know they want to eat at a table so in the backyard all I did was just put some like patio stone and then I just put a nice table and I feel like it looks pretty they can come out in the back and just like look off into wherever you know Maybe you could place this home where there's like water in the backyard and they can just look out at the water and that would be really pretty. So yeah, I am in love, like I keep saying with this pack, you guys, I think it's so great. I can't stop watching tiny builds. Like I said, those are the kind of builds I watched the most before, but now it's like I'm watching them times 10. <laughs> like I can't stop. Comment down below if you're the same way. Also, has this inspired you to build if you're not a builder? Um, if you guys are kind of new to my channel, you may actually think I don't build, but I do. I just don't build often, but I definitely build. I do furnishing, furnishing more. Um, I love to furnish so much fun. <laughs> so I love decorating, but when it comes to houses like these, I love building and I've built quite a few homes. If you guys, um, check my channel, I have like a build playlist or if you just go into my gallery, I do have stuff. By the way, my origin ID is real Fantasia. This will be on the gallery once the pack comes out for everyone. Um, so yeah, I need to wait until the pack's out for everyone. And then you guys can download this if you'd like to. So that will be on the 21st. Um, it should be tomorrow when this is going up but yes you guys i think i'm gonna wrap this up here we're pretty much just doing like the final touches so i hope you guys enjoyed this build and i hope you guys are all having an amazing amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below i love you guys all so so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys
Need that much.